Hi there, Mouseketeers. Princess Minnie here. And John. And John's here. Yay! He's so excited about it. He really is. I am excited. This is my excited face. <laughs> you can't see the excitement behind the beard. It hides the excitement. And <laughs> secrets. His beard is full of secrets. Anyway, um, today we're going to do some fun stuff. So if you are a returning friend, hey, welcome back. And if you are a new friend, I think you're going to like it here. So hit that subscribe button and the notification bell icon and uh, get ready to give a thumbs up for something you like in this video and think about what comment you want to make down below because we love reading your comments. That's true. Yeah. So to start today, John, I actually have a little surprise for you. I'm nervous. There's no reason to be nervous. Something's wrapped here. Something's wrapped, but it's not something I spent money on. I stole it! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, I'm stealing this rabbit also for me, please. <laughs> so right before Christmas time, my friend Maria sent me, I think we, we had a pin trade, but she sent me like way more than just the pin I traded for, and she included a gift for you. That's Isn't nice. that nice? Yeah. So here you go. Say thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> Should I open it? I was waiting for my cue. <laughs> yes, you should open it. <laughs> I hit my spots. <laughs> you're, you're, uh, you can call for a line whenever you yeah. need it. So, Maria, thank you again. I've been waiting to give this to him for like the perfect moment, and oh, I thought a video cool. was the perfect time. Oh, it's a really cool, like, mystery bag for Nemi for Christmas. So, she sent us two. Oh, it's awesome. So, we could each have one, she said. And so, I opened this, I unwrapped this one, but then I said in the video, I thought you should get the chance to open it and have that excitement for yourself. Yeah, it's awesome. So, these are mystery mini collectible plushies for Nightmare Before Christmas. And uh, let me show everybody what options we could get. Here's the front. I'm already loving it. And then on the back, it gives you, I guess there are, what, nine characters you can collect. This is so cool. I mean, for my preferences, I definitely have some favorites, but I'm interested in seeing what John thinks. So for me, preference-wise, my I would want to get Santa Jack and Zero. Those would be my preferences. I wouldn't really want to get Lock, Shock, or Barrel because I hate having, we only have two of these, so I would, I would hate having only two of the kids, but... I would also be so very, very grateful if that's what we got because then maybe we would just have to get more of these. And I, the only one I'm like, no thank you, is uh, Dr. Finkelstein. Not a big fan of his. Although he's kind of cute in plushy form, actually. I get that. I feel like, yeah, I get what you're saying with the kids, although I would, like, if you can get your favorite kid. Like, I don't know who my favorite kid is. Probably Shock because she's the only girl. The girl power thing, you know. Mine's Locke. He seems like he's like a little bit yeah. of a showman. Like he goes first. He's like, Locke, and he removes his mask. <laughs> like I was always like, I'm very impressed by him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's a great entrance. I always felt like um, Barrel was the most mischievous, so he's pretty cool. Yeah. But I feel like Shock is the leader. Like I feel like she's both, she's like, you boys are idiots, and like I'm gonna figure out how to kidnap the Sandy Claws. Hmm, that's interesting. I never, yeah. I never really thought about it. I, I feel like it's her plan in the end that they get him with. I feel like it's just very clear that um, Barrel's not the leader. That's, yeah, he's clearly like just like a troublemaking like henchman. Because I think I was up in the air. Like I didn't think Locke was the leader, but I, I, I wouldn't have known for sure. I, I would just say it's just not Barrel. That's all I'm convinced about. <laughs> Barrel is definitely not in charge. Um, Oogie Boogie is really cute, and he would be really yeah. adorable on like as like a Halloween decoration for or sure. something. I know you like Oogie Boogie. I do. I don't enjoy. I don't love his song. I don't. But I actually think like Nightmare Before Christmas is one of the weird movies where it somehow manages to have like a somewhat mediocre love interest. Yeah. Um, I think at the end it's interesting, but like for the most of the movie I don't, I'm not that invested. And then a, a bad guy who I don't care about, and yet the movie's still really good. I mean, Sally just stalks Jack. Can we all be honest about yeah. that? Like, great love story. <laughs> Yeah, we'd be wake, we'd be really creeped out if this was about Sally and all the things that Sally did, Jack did. Yeah, totally. If it was yeah, the opposite, it, it would be reversed. You'd be like, Jack's a creep. Yeah, 100%. but no, everyone's like they're in love. <laughs> it's, it's just so it's true. It's just true. Like, yeah. sorry. Should we both open them at the same time? That sounds good. Okay. I can't wait. I can't wait. Right. I haven't seen these before either, Maria. I need to know where you got these. Oh, I got a great one. Mine's good too. I hope it's not double. Who you got? Sally! Zero. <gasps> Sally and Zero! Those are awesome ones! Yeah, those are really good ones. Oh my god, 
Sally is looking adorable. They're soft too, which is nice. Oh, and Zero Sloan, I really wanted to. So this is so cool. These they, they have keychains on them, so these could be cool, like on bags. That's oh, yeah. awesome. And I know I just like called Sally a stalker, but I do really. I think she's really cool. She's a lovable to be stalker. Yeah, she's lovable. I like that they like spin a little bit on your hand. I, I mean, anything with a ring can, right? Right. Well, guys, I swear. The two of us, like, we can entertain each other like nobody's business. Uh, oh, my God. What was the game I made up that we were obsessed with on the plane ride to, well, it was to California, but it was our first stop. I think it was Colorado. And we were, the flight was so long. And this is really just going to show you how we can entertain each other like nobody's business with, like, nothing. Like, no, no props. I do. I just looked at you and I went, guess what number I'm thinking of? And you were oh, like, you're right. <laughs> you were like, like, any number? Like, what are the guidelines? I was like, like any number? <laughs> you just had to go, and they would just say higher or lower. Yeah. I think we ultimately did say it had to be anywhere from one to a thousand. <laughs> yeah, it had to be one to a thousand. <laughs> and you had to see how many how many guesses it took you to get it. Right. Like, so, like, for example, okay, let's play a game. Let's play it right now. I'm going to think of the number and you have to guess. All right. All right, hold on. All right, they know. All right. Go ahead. 832. Lower. That was one guess. 337. Lower. 122. Higher. 273. Higher. 270, so I'm between 273 and 337. 298. Higher. 302. Higher. Oh, you're rusty. I, we were getting, by the end of the game, we knew each other so well. We were getting these within like three to five guesses, yeah. which is absurd. 314. Higher. Oh, rusty. 321. We should play this more. Higher. Oh, so 337 was a pretty good guess. It was a great guess. I tried so hard not to, like, let it know. So lower. 333? 10! It took you 10! Oh, it's an evil. That's just... That was great. You did really good. You did really So go home and play that with your significant other and see if they think you're crazy. And you remember, you have to start by being like, guess what number I'm thinking of? <laughs> It's it's mildly embarrassing at how many hours we we played that game. We really did. We really did. It's it an entire tight. day of travel. <laughs> we didn't play for the whole day, but we played it for a chunk of time. It was like most of a, most of a flight. <laughs> So yeah. yeah, we really can like we're gonna be driving down to Disney World. It's gonna be the third time we've driven together to Florida from Philadelphia, which is, I mean, on a good day, that's what sixteen hours minimum. Um, yeah, 16 is all right. 16. We, we don't stop that much. Usually we'll stop for, like, Denny's for breakfast or something like that. Yeah. Um, but so we're going to go for our third time in, uh, driving in July, and we can really entertain each other. Like, the only thing is sometimes I get sleepy because he's the driver. He drives the whole time. Yeah. Um, so I sometimes through. get sleepy, but, um, oh, my God, we're here to open pins. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot about that. We got that. pins. We got pins. This isn't a bait and switch. No, we totally got pins, guys. We got pins on pins on pins. Yeah. So, I think we got three boxes. There you go. Pins on pins on pins. That's exactly the pins. pins. All right. You want to show me what you already got? Well, first I'm going to tell them what it is. But I do yeah. have, um, I have opened one of these boxes before and I um, showed them to you guys in my what I got for Christmas haul because John was sweet and he ordered me, he asked me what limited like release or hard to get mystery boxes I wanted. So I got these boxes on eBay. I don't know if you can get them anymore, but I will give you the name of the seller because the eBay seller is awesome. This is the same seller I also got the limited release Princess Thrones, the Royal Hall set from before as well. And everyone wanted to know where that was from. Again, she just has them until she sells out, but she does accept best offers and she has accepted every best offer I've ever given her. Now I've never lowballed her. Yeah. But I've saved a couple of bucks every time. So this was um a, the price was definitely propped up, but not ridiculously for this set and oh that ebay seller is hyperion outpost oh, i like that name it's pretty neat it's right pretty cool. yeah it reminds me of like something like science fictiony oh yeah science fiction it has to be a name where you're like i don't know what that means but i'm intrigued and i think you're smart yeah you sound smarter yeah. than me yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> So, this is a limited release pin box, and uh, I think I'm just going to come close and show you guys, and I'll remind you of the two I already showed you in my What I Got for Christmas haul. So, John bought me four boxes of this Disneyland exclusive limited release Main Street Magic Mystery Collection set. I think it's a really cute color on the box. And on the back, it shows that you can get eight main characters, and they're all at the Disneyland Park, and I'm going to need help identifying where these guys are. And uh, so far, people have been very helpful in telling me. And they come with three mystery chasers, and I actually have a pretty good guess of what those chasers are. 
So these are the two I got last time, and I thought it was so cool. I actually opened these up on Christmas Day because I said to John, I feel like I should open these up for people and like a video with you and I, but I also feel like you should get to see me open one since you bought them. So we thought that, that opening one of the four was a really good compromise. And uh, so we have Daisy working on Main Street and Huey, uh, I'm sorry, Dewey. Dewey outside of Disneyana and I'm thinking that the three chasers are each of the duck nephews is what I'm thinking there and I already forgot where Daisy's Daisy is working so sorry whoever told me did you like your own like personal princess mini unboxing of these on Christmas yeah it was fun <laughs> so um there are, what I, I, so these are limited release, but the chaser pins are limited edition of 400. So I was so shocked to get one of them, and now I want all of them. And those are like three of the best characters. Every, yeah. Everyone loves the duck. Everyone loves the duck nephews, yeah. right? You okay. can call them duck twins, but I'm like, they're not twins, there's three of them. There's three of them. Are they triplets? I guess they're triplets. Triple twins. What? One time, guys, um, in yeah, yeah he, he knows, he knows. That's why he is from Italia. He yeah. set me up for it, I know it. So. <laughs> We went to Las Vegas for John's 30th birthday in August, mm -hmm. and we went to the Mirage, which has a buffet that is unlimited drinks. And you know the kind of drinks I'm talking about. And we took advantage of that. So we were a little uh, tipsy in Vegas, and we were, we were just having a good time at the buffet. And John goes to me, Kate. Three twins just walked by, <laughs> and I was like, there's a name for that. <laughs> They're called triplets. <laughs> I just still love that story. I know. It was, I, we it was would never have remembered any of that night either, probably, because we, we really took advantage of that deal at the there's Mirage. there's lots of text messages. Uh, we were texting my sister and her husband, like, nobody's business. Like, it was, oh my god. It, there, so there is a record of it, thank god, because that's how you remember all the funny stuff you come up with mm -hmm. when you're imbibing all right so we're, gonna do this. we're actually here for pins guys like i know it might seem like we're just here for kate and jo the kate and john show but uh we, pins, we have pins so we're gonna be opening six pins i mean you can help me i guess you know they're my gift how about i open one box you open two boxes i think that's totally fair all right, all right. so wait look on the back you have to tell them which ones you like right. i want the whole set but of course i really want Minnie mouse and i'd actually really like chip and dale i'd like donald of course to go um with daisy and i'd like the other duck nephews so i the ones that i'm okay not getting would be mickey goofy and pluto but i'd also be really oh, happy getting them that's you know usually she's good she has bad choices today this was, is my Christmas gift, and he's insulting me. No, well, insulting me. Mean, oh, yes, it's a little bit, but like <laughs> she has bad choices. It's, it's positive, constructive feedback. <laughs> There's just two that are just clearly the best. What are they? Number one is actually Pluto. Pluto does look cute. He looks like a deputy in like an old western movie. He does. I know that's like, why he's like so proud, but you know he's not in charge. That's why I'm going with deputy. Like, so I think that's really really funny. It feels old timey western. Um, it's a little redundant. I don't think there's like current day westerns. I mean. No, I don't no. think so. And then definitely Donald. I mean, but I always. Well, I did say I wanted Donald. Yeah, I know, but he, maybe because like I think Mickey and Minnie are the two worst pins in the set. I like Minnie. She's like she's holding up lots of ice cream, but that makes sense that you wouldn't like that. John never eats any sugar. That's not. That's not. I didn't even notice that she had ice cream. She's just in a weird kind of pose. I'm not a fan of it. Minnie's poses are always perfection. I don't know what you're talking about. But I love the idea of Donald as the fire chief because you know your house would just burn down. I was just gonna say the same thing. Like, like I would not trust. A Donald Duck run firehouse. This is a bad Main Street planning system. <laughs> Mickey should have had the firehouse. Yeah, Donald could definitely drive a train. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Like, Mickey should, like, you know, The only thing is, I hope Goofy does not have an important job. Now, Goofy looks like he's a government boy. Like, he works town hall. So, uh, let's get into these pins, okay? I hope that these are really lucky. I hope for no doubles. Because I don't know if anybody's trading these bad boys. I don't know what year these are from either. I'm going to have to, I guess, check on the um, the pin itself. This doesn't feel like one I have. This one I feel like is skinny. What if I pull like two chasers? Well, that would be a pretty big feat. I don't think they ever put two chasers in one. But if anyone could do it, you could do it. Thank you. Let's see. Make sure to look on the back to see if it's a chaser first. This is definitely a new one. It's limited release. It's not a chaser. I'm going to check the other back before I, I, I look to see what they are. I'm going to look at this and pretend I would know if, it's a, if it was a chaser. It'll say chaser on the back. I think this is limited release. Although it kind of looks like mine. I hope it's not the oh, same one. Mine's awesome. 
Limited release. Okay. So well, I did not get any chasers. Did you get any chasers? Oh, no. I only opened one. We'll open the other one. All right. My first one's great, though. I just hope they're not doubles. I really would be happy because I do want to complete the set. Maybe I'll just start opening the third box while John is uh, getting his ready. My other one says limited release, too. Okay. But, I mean, that's fine. If I have to hunt down the chasers. Goal for 2019, right? Okay. I say two chasers. I meant zero chasers. Uh, that, 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 oh, I, you know what? I just knew what you meant because I knew the first one wasn't. So I just meant, I knew you meant the same. Yeah. All right, I'm going to look at my first one. Oh, it's cute. It's not one of the ones I said I wanted, but it is Mickey as the train conductor. Oh, that is, that is really cute. It does have some really nice details in it. Okay, what's your first one? Donald as the fire chief. <gasps> yes, we got Donald. That was yep. the one we agreed on. Was one of the coolest. So uh, yeah, looked, uh, Donald looks awesome. You just really have to hope that's ceremonial. I don't know. He's got a fire hose and everything. They wanted to make him believe he was in charge. That's what I would do with Donald. Yeah, you know what? Like, I don't see the fire hose being hooked up. <laughs> like, he is just carrying a it's hose. It's not on a hydrant. <laughs> no. It's, it's... Let me see. Oh yeah, that's that's totally. No, that's bogus. He's not really in charge. No, no, no. He's not really putting out fires. All right, wait. I'm gonna look at the other one before I show you guys. Okay. We got another Donald! I thought we had the same pin from the back. Alright, I'm gonna pull off the band-aid because uh same pack, another mm, another Mickey. No! Alright, well I hope there's somebody out there who has some of these pins and would like to trade them. Or maybe just has some of the ones I don't have and you know, would like you know to. What, I think we friend. should each open one of the last two back bags. Like, oh, because we had so much luck. Separate no, but separate this bat. <laughs> well, <laughs> we each get the same pin. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give you that one. So that didn't go great. It, it, it didn't. It didn't. Good characters. All right. Limited release. Not a chaser. I'm show them I'm talking. Good. All right. It's what I wanted. John's not going to be thrilled. But it is Dale. I hope you have Chip. I hope you have Chip. Do you have Chip? Actually, it, well, not, it's Minnie, but she looks Oh, like, I did want Minnie. Surprisingly, she looked... I mean, I actually didn't like this pin on the back, but I think it looks really nice on the front. I thought it looked great in the picture. I don't know. Like It's just like something about it. Like I, I, I didn't like the way it was set up on the, on the back of it, but it looks nice in person. You know what? You can never judge a pin by the way it looks on a, on a box or a bag. It'll look so much nicer in person every time. And the colors are really vibrant, which is nice. And, and it really looks Disney, don't you think? It does. It probably looks the most Disney of any of the pins. All right, I'll, I'm gonna um, show you guys all four. Actually, I'm gonna put them all together on a board. I'm sad we don't have eight pins to show you, but I guess I have two pretty cool traders. I think Donald will definitely trade well. I think so. And here is Mickey, and I have a feeling this is gonna be a lot of people's favorite pins. It's not John's favorite, and it's honestly not my favorite either. I know a lot of you out there are like super into trains, and uh, I'm just not. <laughs> um, but I do think he's very cute, and it's Mickey Mouse. What are you gonna, like what's not to love about Mickey Mouse? I really especially love the Mickey head in the grass. And with Mickey went Donald, and I can't say I've ever noticed the fire station when we were in Disneyland, so I'll have to check that out next time we're there, in a couple of years probably. But look, you can see Donald's hose, it's not connected to anything, that is purely ceremonial. And I think we can all breathe a sigh of relief knowing that Donald is not in charge of putting out any fires. And it's Minnie in front of the ice cream parlor. I'm so happy that John came around on this pin. I think Minnie's pose is darling. That's what I do with my feet in pictures. Like, I did not know I was channeling Minnie Mouse, but maybe subconsciously I did. I think the colors on this are gorgeous, and it just screams Disney. And it's Dale, who reminds me of my friend Robin over at the channel Oh Hello Robin, because he's a strawberry blonde, like she is. And uh, Chip's my favorite uh, chipmunk, but... You know, Dale's pretty cute in this pin. I'm really liking him. And I'm a big ma magic fan. When we go to Vegas, like I mentioned earlier, I definitely always like to see a magic show. And uh, he's in front of Main Street Magic. I think this building is beautiful. And I don't, I don't know that I've ever noticed this building either. So I'm going to have to take a, a look next time harder. And here is the extent of my Main Street Magic collection at this time. So there are 11 pins and I have six of them. So I'm more than halfway there. I would really like to complete this set actually. So if anybody has any leads at any time, let me know. You guys are really good about, you know, reaching out to me on Instagram and stuff when you see a pin you think I would like. And this is definitely a major collection I would love to complete in 2019. So help a friend out, okay? I had one scary thought about the Donald pin. What if it's not ceremonial and he actually is in charge of putting out the fire? He oh doesn't god, know. He, he doesn't know he needs to hook up the hose. Yeah, so I mean like we're hoping 
they like they intentionally yeah, yeah he might not know oh man well good luck everybody hopefully yeah. there's no fire yeah. <laughs> whenever donald is the chief all right thank you so much for hanging out with us our cat has been bothering us literally the entire time we've been filming this and he's currently bothering us right now he was just sitting on my seat when i got back from uh showing you the pins so i think we need to go give him some treats yep. i think that's the only way to slay the beast mm -hmm. yeah Thank you so much for, for watching this video. Thanks for giving it a thumbs up, for subscribing, and for commenting down below. Feel free to comment anything you would like to talk about when it comes to this video. What was your favorite pin? Have you been to Vegas? Would you ever like to meet up in Vegas? The Mirage do could be a fun time. Do you need a, a Donald Duck or Mickey pin that we have extras of? True, although I would really like to trade those in set if possible um but i know that might not be possible because i'm pretty sure the pin said 2016 but i'm not sure it was hard to read <laughs> thanks so much everybody and i'll see you real soon